All right, hey folks. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Grand Admiral Thrawn, TVC action figure from the Rebels series. This figure doesn't come with too many accessories, it just comes with his blaster, but he looks fantastic. Mine came out looking kind of weird just because the skirt is kind of pivoted to the side. So hopefully that's not something like a, com like a quality control error. I think it's just packaging. They packaged him weird, but the card back image is from the Rebels TV series. It's a pretty good image. The back of the card back has this at VC 296. Then you have uh, Morgan Elsbeth, Grand Inquisitor, the Anu Ahsoka Tano that I just actually got not too long ago, actually. Uh, Jerjerod. Luke Skywalker from uh, J the Jedi Academy variant, Tuscan Boba Fett, and the new HK-87 assassin droid, which is going to be... I should have that video up pretty soon with uh, the HK-87, Morgan Elsbeth, and Grand Inquisitor. So if you want to see my reviews on those three figures, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and we're gonna get right into this one. All right, so here's a figure out of the package. Looks like the skirt might be placed a little off to the side. There we go. That looks a lot better. We'll check the articulation on this guy first. They are using the officer body mold with this one so it has rocker ankles the knee articulation is good there is a swivel at the thigh and barbell hips the skirt this skirt thing doesn't really get into in the way of things just because it's made out of this flexible soft plastic and it has like the cuts on the side to help with uh, you know not getting in the way for the art action figure to be posable in many different uh, action poses. You could even have them sitting down. Thrawn does come with a holster for his blaster pistol, which we will, we will look into in just a bit. You could see his rank badge. He has two clearance code cylinders on his left pocket and then another one in another two in his right he is a grand admiral after all he has the white suit and let's see where did we leave off at core articulation is good That's the arm articulation, elbows, wrist, some swivel and hinge, and then head articulation is really good, can go left to right really good, and then look down a good amount, and same with looking up, it's not too bad. It does resemble the animated Thrawn from the Rebels TV series. Onto the accessories. The only accessory that he comes with is this blaster pistol that you can holster since he has the holster on the side. So it can slip right in. This blaster pistol fits really well in his trigger finger hand. It's a very straightforward figure, you know, nothing, not, not too many accessories. It's just here to get the point across that uh, this is Thrawn and they did a fantastic job with it. I mean, using the new officer mold is, you know, a new staple in the vintage collection line. 
people love it. It's a great mold, great articulation. The skirt doesn't get in the way. It's a big change from the officers that we used to have from like the Power of the Force days and uh, all the old three and three quarter inch era officers that just weren't really quite cutting it. I hope we get more. We are missing a few more now. Thankfully, Krennic got announced. So I can't wait for that figure. That's another one that's going to be fantastic. But I'm going to pose him up and then we'll move on to the next part. Figures like this are what makes me glad that I'm a vintage collection collector. This figure is incredible. I mean, the face sculpt is great. The body mold is amazing. We've seen this quite a few times now with the uh, Admiral Piet, Moff Gerard, and the Officer 4-pack. So we all knew what was coming, but uh, the fact that uh, they actually made Thrawn really was top notch. I mean, at that point, they just needed to release the character. The card back image is, let's take a look at this card back image again. It's really good for uh, the Rebels animated series type card back. This is a really good card back image. Uh, maybe they could change the background to maybe he's like on the bridge of a Star Destroyer. That probably would have been a little bit more appropriate, but for what it is, this is a great figure and a great card back. And we don't have too many Rebels um, card backs in the vintage collection so it's nice to see that Hasbro is listening and they're finally starting to uh, release more Rebels action figures into the vintage collection line so this one I'm gonna have to give it like a 10 out of 10 honestly really good card back PC 296 and that's a good three and three quarter inch figure if you ask me. I just need to find some uh, death troopers, two death troopers to go with him. So that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.